As you know, I was shocked to see so many commentators and comedians mocking Kate, the Princess of Wales, when she disappeared for a couple of months to deal with what was obviously a medical problem after serious abdominal surgery. And it wasn't just British commentators suggesting she was getting divorced, maybe, but also American ones like Stephen Colbert. The kingdom has been all flutter by the seeming disappearance of Kate Middleton. Well, now, internet sleuths are guessing that Kate's absence may be related to her husband and the future King of England, William, having an affair. Then last Friday, Kate explained exactly why she'd been out of sight and humiliated them. The surgery was successful. However, tests after the operation found cancer had been present. William and I have been doing everything we can to process and manage this privately for the sake of our young family. As you can imagine, this has taken time. It has taken me time to recover from major surgery in order to start my treatment. But most importantly, it has taken us time to explain everything to George, Charlotte and Louis in a way that's appropriate for them and to reassure them that I'm going to be OK. And now look at those media vultures flapping back, having to grovel and apologise, yet still lecturing the rest of us to apologise ourselves to Kate. Joining me from London is Esther Kraku, writer, author, broadcaster and much more. Esther, what do you make of all these suddenly, all these nasty people suddenly acting like they've got a conscience? Oh, sorry. Yes, they didn't think about having a conscience when they were basically bullying a woman in her early 40s that they knew had had a significant medical intervention and even if it hadn't turned out to be cancer um deserved her privacy like she asked for to rest and to prioritize herself and her family um <clears throat> you had people like uh, bbc reporter sonia mclaughlin who complained that she was the target of trolls on twitter and yet was one of the people that led the conspiracy theory uh, against kate that she wasn't even seen at the, that sort of that farm um shop in windsor i mean it was completely ludicrous all these people are hypocrites all these people like to to, to say that they're they're feminists and yet here you have a woman who's been bullied since uh, her early 20s 20s just for, for 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 being with the future king uh who's served this country living in a, in a glass fishbowl that many of us wouldn't choose to to live in and yet somehow her greatest crime was to to ask for privacy while she recovers from from surgery and now unfortunately it turns out she's undergoing chemotherapy i mean it's 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 not surprising but it really does show the society has a problem with how they treat women particularly elderly women uh, for some reason women in the royal family are fair game they're, they're it's open season um and you can't no one can make the argument that it was just simple curiosity um over a photoshop picture because oh, even when she on, that's when these sort of cranks and these lunis, uh, conspiracy theorists and this, these uh, lunatics went into overdrive. Uh, so it wasn't just simple curiosity. It was hostile, horrible behavior. It was bullying of a woman. And actually, quite frankly, when I watched that video, I felt really, really sick that I even knew about her or she felt the need to tell us about her cancer diagnosis. And um, one of the reasons why it, apparently she chose to say it then was because she was waiting for her children to go on half term so that they would be at home and that she and William could control at least um, the kinds of information that they were being exposed to as opposed to having children from school uh, gossiping and, and, and feeding them what they saw on Instagram. So it's a really horrible and uncomfortable situation um, all around. I mean, I, I hate to draw parallels, but, you know, if, they, if they'd leveled a campaign like this against Meghan Markle, they would have said, oh, it's racism. That's why nobody cares that she's, she's a woman uh, wanting to recover from surgery. It's just horrible. She really didn't deserve this and I'm not surprised that these vultures are coming back to, to start apologizing.